Hi, I'm Harvey Fremlin. I'm the Managing Director and Employee Owner at the National Self Build and Renovation Centre. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you about why we became employee owned, how it's helped our business and how it might help yours. Employee ownership is where employees have a genuine stakeholding in the business. So there's various models that companies can look at for employee ownership. Uh, there is the trust model, which is quite a common model where shares are held in trust on behalf of the employees of a company. Uh, there's the direct share ownership model where employees actually have shares directly in their name. Um, at the NSBRC, we've actually got what's called a hybrid model. So it's a combination of those where we have some employees that have direct shares in the business um, and we also have an employee ownership trust which looks after the existing team but also future employees that will join us um, in, in later years. So we transitioned to employee ownership in 2014. Uh, we were introduced to the concept of employee ownership by our investor who specialises in converting companies to become employee owned. Um, before 2014 we could have possibly spoken about Waitrose or John Lewis as common models of employee ownership but since then we've got a really good understanding of what it means to be a genuine employee owned company. Um, for us it was about bringing together a small uh, core team who had shared values and shared vision for where the business was heading in the future. So becoming employee owned has genuinely transformed our business um, and I think the level of open communication that we kind of promised we'd work to as a, as a company has played a big role in that. So the team, no matter what role they fulfill day to day, have a really good understanding of our monthly accounts, of our key uh, measures that we look at as a business to check we're heading to our, our targets and, and heading towards our shared vision. Um, so having that level of communication and that honesty with, with figures and, and data is, is a big help. Um, we've seen retention rate for our exhibitors here at the centre increase from about 55% back in 2014 to 82% this year, uh, which we're really proud of. And that has only come due to the team building real partnerships and relationships with those companies. Um, and thirdly, we've been able to re uh, recruit some new staff to the company um, that have made a real difference to our business. And one of the things that attracted them to joining us was the employee ownership uh, model um, because they knew that they had a genuine voice uh, and a genuine say in the direction that the company was taking. Um, in a nutshell, just do it. Um, I think we are all huge advocates here at the Centre of Employee Ownership. It has genuinely transformed our business and I've seen many, many examples of other companies that have really benefited from this employee ownership model. Um, so I'd say to anyone that's uh, looking at employee ownership or perhaps they've seen businesses that have recently um, gone over to employee ownership in the news uh, to talk to companies like ourselves um, or other employee owned companies and just ask some questions about how we find it. Um, it's not always straightforward. There's a bit of admin in the background that needs to be done but um, genuinely, we couldn't recommend it strongly enough. Um, I recommend that people look at the Employee Ownership Association's website. It is packed full of really helpful information and advice for no matter what stage you are in your kind of own EO journey. Um, but I think the, the question is really, why would you not become employee owned? Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you found it informative. If you would like to know anything more about employee ownership or the centre, then please feel free to contact me. I'd be really happy to help.